In this video, we're going to talk about sorting and sorting arrays. Sorting, like searching, is a common task in computer programming. We do it all the time. Uh, there are many different algorithms that have been developed for sorting. Some of them are very easy. Uh, some of them are more complex. Usually the easier ones are less efficient than the more complex ones. Uh, the book in this case starts off with a selection sort, uh, which is pretty simple and pretty intuitive. Uh, one of the other so, uh, sorts that you should probably look up and learn about is a bubble sort. Everybody should know a few sorting algorithms. Uh, it'll help you if you ever go on a job interview or what have you. Uh, knowing a couple, couple different sorting algorithms will definitely help. Um, and, and selection sort and bubble sort are two easy ones. We're going to concentrate on selection sort. So let's see how a selection sort works. So we have a small group of numbers. It looks like there's seven numbers in this array. Two, nine, five, four, eight, one, six. All right. So how does a selection sort work? And it comes down to this. A selection sort finds the smallest number in the list. Okay, and then it places that number first. Then it goes and finds the second smallest number in the list and it places it second. And it goes and finds the third smallest number and it puts it in the third spot. And that's how it does, it's just repetitive. Um, so let's take a look here. If we look at this uh, array of numbers and we start going through it, uh, two is the smallest number. 9 is not smaller, 5 is not smaller, 4 is not smaller, 8 is not smaller, 1 is the smallest number in the list, 6 is not smaller than that. So 1 is the smallest number, and that means we have to put it into the first position. And to put it in the first position, we just swap places with whatever was already in the first position. So the 2 is going to move up here, and the 1 is going to move to the first position. Now the 1 is part of our list of sorted numbers and it's in the right position so for the rest of the algorithm we can concentrate on two through seven so we go through nine is the smallest number oh nope five smaller than that so five is the smallest number four is the smallest number eight so four is still the smallest number and then there's a two now that's the smallest number and two is still smaller than six so we found the smallest number here so we swap places with the two and nine. So the nine got moved up here, the two got moved down here, and now we continue on. We find four is the smallest, so it swaps places with the five, and that results in this, okay? Uh, five is the smallest of the remaining numbers, so it's good, it gets locked into place, we don't have to do a swap. Of the three remaining numbers, six is the smallest, so it swaps places with the eight. And again, we do it with the nine and the eight. And finally, we end up with a sorted list. Okay, so that's how it works. Now I'm going to recommend one of the corniest and best ways to watch a selection sort happen in real time and understand how it works. I'm not going to watch it, but I highly encourage you. I'm not going to include it in my video, but I highly encourage you to go to YouTube and just do a search for selection sort dance. Okay, selection sort dance, and you will get this. It is a Hungarian or gypsy folk dance. Uh, all the people are wearing numbers and they're going to dance. They're gonna go through and they're gonna find the lowest number and the lowest number person is going to switch place with the person in the first position. And they're gonna continue that process and you can see that it's they're acting like an array. Um, I won't have you watch it here, but I, I do highly encourage you, I know it's corny, but it illustrates how a selection sort works and it does a very good job of it, okay? I will also, uh, say do the same thing for bubble sort. I found a new bubble sort video as I'm recording this. I went and did a search. I hadn't seen this one before. It's from three years ago. I just hadn't stumbled on it. Um, it's using a little bit more modern music to do a bubble sort. A bubble sort algorithm is very easy to understand as well. And a bubble sort uh, 
the large numbers keep moving up. Uh, so the girl wearing seven here would switch places with the one. Uh, she would not switch places with the nine. He would not switch places. The 10 and the three would switch places, then the 10 and the eight. And the large numbers bubble up to the end. This is basically why they call it a bubble sort. The big numbers bubble to the top. Um, so read about a bubble sort, learn how to do that. Uh, watch the dances for bubble sort and gypsy sort because they do do a fine job of illustrating what is actually happening on these sorts. Okay, so we've talked about the algorithm. We've kind of watched it happen here. Let's look at some code that actually uses uh, some code to do a selection sort. First, I want you to notice one thing about this. We have two for loops. This for loop right in here is contained inside this outer loop. And a lot of these uh, elementary sorting uh, algorithms do use nested loops. So the inside loop here has to run uh, at least 10 times if we have 10 times in our list. So if our list length is 10, uh, the outside loop will run 10 times. The inside loop uh, is going to start at zero. Excuse me, the outside loop will start at zero and count through 10. The inside loop will count from whatever the current value of i is, plus one, up to the length of the loop. So what happens here is we start at the first position, index zero, that's the i's. Okay, And we go through using this inside loop that starts at the current position plus one and it goes through and it finds that minimum value. And we did something in an earlier video uh, when we found the max value, this is just the opposite. If it finds a value uh, smaller than the current value, it kind of just swaps places with it. But we're also recording the index number for that. So once this loop goes through and finds the smallest value, uh, it, it goes to the current position that we're on, whether it's zero or one or two or three from the outside loop, and it swaps those positions. Uh, it swaps the two index numbers, index number of the current position and the index number of the smallest number, and it swaps them using some very simple code. Okay, then it goes to the second position and it goes through and it finds the smallest number using the inside for loop, swaps it to the second position, goes back, starts looking at the third position, looks at the remaining numbers, finds the smallest one, and the algorithm continues just like it did in the dances. Okay, so make sure you understand a selection sort. I highly recommend you go learn a bubble sort as well and understand how they work.